And we're back and we're going on the 40 below free. Oh my god, this is like <laughs> the most fun level. It's really it's, it's No, it's really great. No, it's not. Now, Preston, it's all about Shh. attitude. It's all about that bass. I really hate you now for making <laughs> I hate that song so much. I, I really don't enjoy it. No. Mm. Yeah, music, man. Is there a thing down here I need to get or no? Nah? I guess not. I'm gonna go up then. Alright. Nowhere to go but up. Mm. You were quoting something there, and I. No, it's just kind of like a phrase that like oh. people say, like in you, you like you know where to go but up. Do you, you know that phrase? I, like I, that's why I thought you were quoting something because I've you know heard it. No, it's just kind of a thing like parents and old people say. Parents. Or if your parents people. are old people. My parents aren't that old of people. Now my mom actually had her fiftieth birthday. Uh. Two days ago. And would you consider that old? Nah. I mean, that's like 50%. I mean, not everybody lives to be 100. A lot of people okay, live so less we'll, than 100. Okay, we'll so we'll, like, we'll make it like a 55%. <laughs> Some people live to be less than 100, though. I mean... Uh, I, I would even say most people live to be... Oh, that's true, right? Most people live... Yeah. Where's the snow doodle? Doodle bob. Doodle bob. Nemo, how many Doodle Bob is my favorite. Finland! Finland! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that line. Doodle Bob is my favorite. That is a great episode. I saw like a. Oh, I remember this. Um. No, I remember. I saw a thing. And it was like a like a parody of like the Fifty Shades of Grey poster. Uh -huh. And it had Doodle Bob on it. And it was like, Mr. Doodle Bob will see you now. And it was Fifty Shades of Me Hoi Me Hoi. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love people that like mix things together and yeah. make it funny. Fifty shades of me hoi de hoi. Is that what he says? Me hoi me noi? Me hoi de hoi. That's awesome. Fuck you. <laughs> and War lying. Wario should like pitch Major League. Definitely. He does in Mario Super Sluggers. <laughs> Everyone pitches I major league. If that is the major league, I mean, which I, I'm it's not sure. The super, it's like the mushroom it's league. It's the super major Mario league. Yeah. Because they're all really talented at baseball. Yeah. True fact. Mm -hmm. Which is a very redundant statement. Because I'm saying that it's true it implies that it's a fact. <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> That's pretty true. Hey look, a puzzle piece! Oh my god! What's the pic- like, what's the face on the- See, that's is a that, really good question. Is that like the Golden Diva? Not that I know what that is. Nope. Is it like Buddha? It's probably Buddha. Wario is a big supporter of Buddhism. Buddhist traditions and culture? And... He is a Buddhist. I mean, I mean we'll just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> You know, lots of people like associate Buddha with like the big round the big fat belly, but like the story most of, of his life, he was like um, star. Like the story of Buddha himself. is like his transformation from like he was actually like a pretty like slim prince or something. He was like nobility or wealthy or something like that. Yeah, right? Well, he was he was. Um, I could be totally wrong about this. Yeah, I'm sorry I could if say I offend so. anybody. Oh my god, you don't you. mean to offend. We're pretty ignorant, but as far as we can tell, continue. Right. Um, well, I thought it was like. He was like royalty or whatever, but he like he was like different than the rest of the people somehow. I don't remember exactly how, but he was like he was definitely different. How do I do? I He's just different have to walk? He was Can I just walk this off if I don't want it? No, anymore? yeah, or yeah. Do yeah, I have, you, you to have to roll? You have to use it. Ugh. Woo! But continue with your Buddha story. You literally um, could have solved the whole puzzle right there. Well, I no, well no I yeah you, you have, could. You have to make it all the way to the top, mm. and I got and then um go into a certain part and then um, I'm and then roll sure. for, I did this like three hours ago. Oh no, I saw it at I. Oh, I was at your house, remember? Well no, I did this a lot sooner than you did though. Anyway, Buddha. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so that he like left like where he was royalty for and god damn it. And he um He, I'm, I'm like pulling this back from like sixth grade social studies. Right. So forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, no, he like. 
uh, he went and he met these people who like they all like gave up what they like desired or like liked most in order to like be more holy or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, and so he decided that he the thing that he'd like to go. Oh wait, with, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, the thing that he would would like go without. Not the Buddha thing. I, I was referring right. to. No, I, I, love I know. <laughs> would be food, and so he starved himself, and he'd only eat like us like three sesame seeds a day, and um, and then he ultimately ended up leaving that, thinking that there was you know a, like another way to be holy or whatever, and so he he left, and that's when he got like he became like you know fat Buddha that we right. all like, because he see reached because he reached Nirvana. Right. Well, I think that was later that he reached Nirvana. Yeah, I thought he reached Nirvana and then he became fat. <laughs> I don't know. Because, like, I, I don't I'm not a know. Buddhist. But how great is Nirvana? They're a good band. They're, they are a really great band. I, I didn't know that you actually liked them. No, I, I do. I really enjoy running to them, actually, because, you know, their music's pretty... Really? Dude, I'm, like, into classic rock. Well, I, they're, they're more grunge than classic rock. But there's an element of... I feel you like know, it, I, you're, you're doing the wrong thing. Oh, I have to, I have to, to go, go off to the that one. Edge, yeah. And you needed to break. Oh god! You had to break other things before it in order to like do it right. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I really didn't know that you liked Nirvana. That makes me happy. If it makes you happy. Oh. Uh, Remember the really big shrimp, Jake and Josh. I do. I have one heart left. Okay, so just spend it. Oh, is that gonna hurt you? No. Are you sure? This actually works pretty well. No. Actually, that got me up where I needed to go. Yep, too bad you weren't in the right form, or whatever. But no, th that brings me up to here, which is where I needed to go. Oh, I see what you're saying, okay. You smelling what I'm stepping in? <laughs> I really hate that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that phrase. It's pretty, it's pretty gross. <laughs> Die yeah, now. that would probably. I would have to do a jump cut, which would be unfortunate. Yes, it would, and I'd have to replay through the level. So I mean, right? But they don't need to see that. Shit. No one wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, goodness. see now you've got like everything, so it would really suck if you had to. Read yup. Uh, well, I mean, the last like two pieces are both in this room now, so. Mm -hmm. I remember I was playing this level once, and like. Out of nowhere, like I have one heart left, and out there of I got nowhere, heart. one of those icicles fell from the ceiling. And yeah, hit me, and it's like it was like the icicle fell from off the screen, so it, like he made out of nowhere, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like I was so mad. What the fuck? Exactly, just like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're quoting the technical. We have like a, that's not Game Grumps. That's not, just but it is Ego Raptor. <laughs> we have like a serious problem with like quoting things. We just do that in our everyday life. Oh, that's not cool. Wait, what? There's little spiky guys. Oh, right, but how, I thought you had one heart left and you could I got another it. one earlier. You clearly weren't paying attention because you don't care about me. No, I care about you, man. No, you don't, man. Preston, you know the moment where I knew that I loved you? What? What, what was oh. the moment you knew you loved me? <laughs> Hang on, I gotta think of something funny. <laughs> don't even know! I mean, the, the moment I knew I loved you <laughs> was the moment you told me about... <laughs> I know what you're gonna say, and I already hate you. <laughs> do you wanna like, do you care? Like, I'm gonna like murder you. Oh my god, family. I just spilled something up all over myself. Good, that's what you get. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna Okay, so now that you call me a douche, I feel a lot worse about this. Go for it. <laughs> oh great, my girlfriend's gonna be watching this too. <laughs> <laughs> he casually throws out the fact that he has a girlfriend. Well, no, because I know what story you're gonna tell. <laughs> when I was, <laughs> when I was, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> when I was in second grade, Preston was over at my house. <laughs> he was just like Alex. I have to tell you a secret. I said it like I was a rapist, dude. But <laughs> Alex, he was like, I gotta tell you something. Because every rapist sounds like that. Yeah. He was just like, no! Jump cut! And we're back! Oh, In Bloom is good too, that's yeah. how I'm not 
we're back. I hit the button and I'm hopefully oh, not going to Oh, right, all right. Yeah, I, I wasn't like, I um, probably wasn't paying attention. No, you weren't. <laughs> all right, yeah, we were talking but, about um, Nirvana. We were talking about Nirvana. But now that we're back, I get no. to finish. Oh, I'm sorry, man. No, I get to finish this embarrassing this story. story. <laughs> don't okay, do this I, to I, have to, I started it. I have to finish it. Okay. So, Preston and I were in second grade. So this was 11 years ago, a long time ago. And basically, <laughs> he has to preface just so I feel better about no, myself. No, he he told me, you know, between the takes, you know, make sure people know this is not how it currently feels. <laughs> but Preston goes, Alex. I have to tell you something, yeah, but you right. can't tell anyone. And I was like, okay. Especially not the entire internet. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, what? And then Preston looks me square in the eye and says, <laughs> <laughs> He says, <laughs> You're getting really close to the camera then. He says, I want to be a girl. <laughs> I hate your face. I hate your face and so, everything that came out I was, it. and I remember like after Preston went home, I like talked to my mom. And I was like, yeah, mom, Preston wants to- What the fuck? I was like, Preston wants to be a girl. And my mom gives me some speech about like, well, we have to be like, you know, thoughtful and caring for people that feel that way. Like, she totally thought you were gay, man. Oh yeah, I mean, I was in second grade. I mean, I mean, I every mean, second grader's gay. I wasn't into boys or girls then, <laughs> so. <laughs> so, my, I'm, what? My question is, you know, all these years later, why did you want to be a girl? Well, I mean, I, I've explained this to you before, but... It but, was, but now we have to pretend okay. like we never had this conversation. Okay, because, I guess, well, well, I mean, when you get down to it, it was a matter of, like, well, for one, you know, being in second grade, I wasn't interested in boys or girls, so, like, right. that wasn't a factor mm -hmm. at all. But I had a bunch of friends, like, I always got along really well with girls, and I had a bunch of friends that were girls, and I had, I had some friends that were boys, and like generally in my experience, you know, my friends that were girls, I just got along with so much better. And like, like I got picked on a lot when I was little, and generally the people that would pick on me were boys and not girls. Right. And so it was like, honestly, when you get down to it, it's a matter of, you know, my thought, my thoughts as a little kid were probably, well, these are girls, and they're nice to me, and these are boys, and they're not nice to me. I wish I was one of these nice people, you know? Oh. Yeah, I... You have such a hard life. I have a super hard life. Pinball! It's my favorite game! Do you play pinball often? I used to when I dated Audrey. Oh yeah, she's got... She, she has like three pinball, pinball machines in her house. And, uh, like, we, we played a lot, but I kind of sucked a lot. I remember uh, a friend of mine when I was younger, Sam, had, like, a um, Super Mario League Bros pinball machine. Dude! Both of his parents were, like, doctors, so, I mean, I'm sure they are like, filthy rich or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, of course. No, they, they had, like, a, they had, like, a uh, Mario uh, pinball right. machine. And, like, I bet it was, like, super rare. Yeah, well, you know what's better than a Mario pinball machine? What? A Wario pinball machine! <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean... That's what we're doing now. Yeah. Kinda. A dirt. Mm-hmm. Well, this is inspired yeah. by a, This is inspired by a pinball machine. Right. But it's a Wario... I've, you know... They call this the pinball level. I've never seen a pinball machine where you just throw things into, like... Other things. Yeah, that's skee-ball. Right. <laughs> Alright, so that's ball. the one that we forgot from before. Mm -hmm. But we have it now. Good. And now I get to do more puzzle rooms! Yeah, that's like music is really boring. It is. Well, it's just like bum, 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 bum. This isn't <laughs> exactly the most exciting level, though. I mean, it's like, it, it's all puzzle based. It's very puzzle based. So yeah. it's, there's no action. It's just a matter, it's all about timing things. Mm hmm. Mm. Why well, so. should pitch major leagues? Probably. Have I made that joke already for this Let's Play? Uh, it's I'm not even that great of a thing, it's just... I, I feel like you have made that joke already. Oh, uh, welcome, bro. Oh, oh no! What'd you do? I pressed up. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, we're still friends. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. You're in the way! Get out of the way! Oh, I need to get a napkin for my finger. 
This finger looking good. Yeah. I've got dirty fingers. Ah. Mm. Wario's got such a bodacious ass. That bodacious badonkadonk? Yeah. Uh, I fucked up. You missed. Oh, I missed! You should, like, have a counter for every time we say that. <laughs> I think you've only said it once and we didn't... I think I might have said recording. it twice, like, between takes or something. Did you? Oh, maybe. I don't know how many times, like, we've actually gotten it on camera. And who knows, because I might have even, like, cut this part out of the... Right. Because we, like, are I... redoing this because we suck. So we're actually the worst. Yeah. Though. Yeah. One more for this room. That ball. Oh looks, my god. That ball looks angry. Or like, what do you think of? What, they all what, look. I, I what emotion they all would you angry. say that is? It's kind of evil. an odd expression. Evil. It's an evil ball. It's an evil ball. Mm. Balls could be evil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, waiting for like a little follow up or like, I know. like an anecdote or like, right. a, you know, no, just like the balls are evil. They're evil, man. Yeah. All right, watch out for balls. Yeah, ladies. <laughs> yeah, ladies, watch out for Preston's balls. Watch out for my balls. You will never find love now. How sad. So sad. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just be a hermit for the rest of my life and never hermit. talk to anyone ever. Okay, cool. But I guess this is my. Are life like hermits? Now. Do hermits like still like exist in the world? I think so. That's pretty cool. I'm oh, fat. Ah, uh, you're chubby, chubby. You know I'm fat. I'm fat. Chubby. You know it. <laughs> you know. You know. You know. Duh. <laughs> He's so fat, you can't lift his arms to Right over the chest. chest. <laughs> I gotta throw that up there. Okay. And then I go up myself. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ooh. son of a bitch. God, God damn. God damn it. <laughs> Ooh. I'm Did so you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's an uh, elf that you're quoting, right? Yeah, yeah it right? wasn't like yeah. as big of a burp. Right. No, I, mean, I, I don't. I think right. I counted one time. It lasted like the one in Elf lasts like 17 seconds. Oh, like, yeah. like it's <laughs> like a quarter of a minute. It's ridiculous. That's not okay. It's definitely okay. I know. That movie is like so good, dude. It is. Oh, I mean, that movie came out what, like 16 years ago, 15 years oh, my, ago. It, oh my god, dude. It was early. If it wasn't like late 90s, it was early 2000s. It wasn't. It was definitely not 90s. Okay, then it was like 2000, 2001. No, but like, like think that. of like how how young were we? Young. Weren't we like in second grade? Oh shit! Yeah, probably. Yeah, because the the thing is, it's like that's gonna be a classic, or if it's not it is already. it is a classic. I mean, that's like the cool thing is that like e like I, you think about like classics, you think about like Citizen Kane or Con Casablanca or you know something yeah. like stereotypical like that. But it's like they're still making classics. And oh, yeah. there's well, that's one the that, thing yeah. about it is like a lot of stuff today, whether it's like movies, music, books, whatever, like. People don't think about stuff as classics because they're not yet. Because it can't be a classic till it's been around for long enough and right. like proven its relevance. Right. It's like we don't think about things this way, but like, what if in like 40 years we hear um, uh, Uptown Funk and it's like, oh, this reminds me of like college. Yeah, this is a classic. You know, it reminds me yeah. of my freshman year of college. Like, isn't that weird? Like, we don't think about it like that right now, but like, yeah. we might. Right. And and that's true for like a lot of stuff. Exactly. That was just like an example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Son of a bitch! Mm, yeah, these enemies are really obnoxious. I really hate them. Because, like, this is, one of, this is one of the enemies where, like, the thing that they do to you doesn't help you. It's right. just obnoxious. So. There you go. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Oh, that didn't work. Mm. It's an odd way to throw it. I would have just done the whole The charge, yeah. yeah. Is okay. So for some of them, it works better to do that like later. In like, this like, level, like actually. why? Why? Like what? In what context? Like, like if you get they... more height on it, and then it's easier to make it go in. Okay. I mean, you have to like have better button press timings. Right. But... So do you have all four of the things? Or yes, I do. Oh wow! See, like when I played this, it was like so stressful to finish the level, because like they yeah they well, give you puzzles like after you hit the timer. Yeah. 
Well, that's why they give you six minutes, though. Mm hmm Very generous of them. Yes. I can't, like, I don't think, I haven't ever beaten this game on hard mode. Because, like, basically, I've never the difference tried. between hard mode is that, like, the bosses have more health, and, um, they give you less time for every time you hit the frog clock. Oh, okay. So, like, yeah. imagine doing this with, like, maybe two minutes less. Right. It, it, it can get fucking stressful. <laughs> and even after that, I think if you, like, um, beat hard mode and normal mode, I don't, well, know, I, or whatever. I don't know, you unlock a new mode called, like, S hard mode, which I'm assuming is like super, super hard, hard yeah. or something like that. Super bored. Right? Yeah, super bored. That's a, <laughs> that's a joke that no one will understand. <laughs> so it's this character. I, I wasn't even part of the creation for this. Yeah, we're, we're talking about oh, like, it, we're, like, this is like a behind the scenes joke of a short film we made called okay. That Millennial Show. Right. And, and so, we're just making fun of a friend of ours. Right. And he was just like, guys, I'm super bored. And then they made like a superhero and he's super bored. Yeah, so. Oh, we love making fun of Elliot. Oh, <laughs> oh, Josh. Yes. <laughs> he looks like Josh. And he acts like it, too. It's scary. He, like, won't admit it, but he does. Yeah, he, he uh, repeats things here? for emphasis. EMPHASIS! Is it over here? I, uh, what, are you looking for a ball? Or for a... No, I... I found it. I, I, I found it. it! Okay. Okay. God! Oh, the door. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's What's the point of that room? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a symbol for the fallibility of love. It's stupid. Whenever something doesn't make sense in an art form, it's obviously a symbol. Always. Forever. That's my philosophy. Is that your problem-free philosophy, Hakuta Matata? No, it's just another... I, I could throw out a You're a Good Man Charlie Brown reference here, but you like wouldn't get it, and I'm pretty sure that no one uh, watching this I, I video get it. No, I, I get it. I, I know would, what you're talking about. I saw it. I would say, so why are you telling me? And that's my new philosophy. But you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> ah, mm, I gotta break this. Maybe if this ball wasn't evil. It, ooh, oh my god, if you die. Oh god. If you die, I'm gonna fucking kill you, man. I'm not breaking anymore. There we go. A ball for a ball. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're stressing me out. Oh, oh son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, oh my god! Okay, look the other way. <laughs> there you go. That's a Mario Party mini game. Look the other way. There isn't even a thing up here. What are you talking? What, what's a Mario Party game? Oh my god! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I had to. I remember, like, when we were young, like, when we were young. Ooh, yeah. But I remember like being at your house and we like played Mario Party. Yeah, yeah I remember. Cool like, story. And you, <laughs> yeah, thanks. I know it was really interesting. I, remember, <laughs> I just remember like I go over to your house and like all we want to do is like play the N64, but your parents like had rules about when we could. Right. Yeah, play. I wasn't allowed to. Oh, are you kidding me? Hit it. I can't. Oh, hey, I can. See. What do you know? See, that's what happens ah. when you just give up. Just give up. That's what you gonna do? Just give up. Just think about the stoop kid. Stoop, stoop kid, kid was afraid stoop. to leave his stoop, but he left his stoop. Because he was brave. Yeah? And didn't give up. Is that what happened? That's, that's the lesson. Even though we've definitely been giving up a lot. Well, a lot! <laughs> like, it's a serious problem. Yeah. There we go. We're kind right, of. Are you are you are you doing well time wise or no? I'm pretty sure I'm doing. well. I think this might be the last one. No, there are two of them though. I, I did one already. Can't though. you count? Can't you count? I can. Good. I'm a musician. I count things. Good. I I'm also a musician, but less as much as you. I mean, it's not a contest. <laughs> <laughs> you do music stuff like as part of an organized thing, and you actually like read your musics and stuffs. I just kind of play. <laughs> okay. But I mean, I know how to count time. That's, that's sort of important. For yeah, that's yeah, yeah, pretty important. It's kind of important for the instrument I play. Right. Just laying down that Laying bass. down those, those Laying down the rhythm. Moves. So, yeah, those. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you gotta use your butt. Oh, I do. Good. <laughs> 
But stuff is important in this game. Oh, it, oh my god! Oh, it went yeah. the wrong way! <laughs> okay, is, there's, oh, there's, is there one more? I think this is it. Alright. So, the, the, mm -hmm. yeah, this is it, I'm pretty sure. I like then it. it just... Wild Wario used rollout. It was super effective. Clearly. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Whitney? Speaking of rollout, um... I never Last had people, like, like complain about how like hard she is. Yeah, I've never like, had like that much problem with her. I don't remember having like, a problem with like, her. Like I remember she was difficult, but that's just because my Pokemon were under level. Right. And all of the wild Pokemon in the route right before you get to her are like way too weak to be to be like training on. Okay. Cause like her her mental. Wait, you didn't get the last piece. But I did. Got, Got it. Got it. That was that was not simultaneous. Nope. Alright, so now we got the piece! Oh, that was yours, I apologize. Oh, oh, Preston just oh, put no. his mouth on my drink. Now Don't I'm, lie, you now like I'm it. I'm gonna get cooties. You're gonna get all of my AIDS. <laughs> yes. Like, all of them. Can I get your mouth herpes? Yes. Alright, so, <laughs> so, who, so who's the boss for this passage? Um, I don't know his name. I do. Cuckoo Condor! I knew his yeah, name! Yeah. I got so, you! Yeah, just, 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 just so good. kidding! Psych! Psych! I'm such a practical mm. jokester. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's do it. GET THE FUCKING CAT! Mm. He went in the item shop, actually. Did you know that the cat is the item shop owner? What? You know, you know the little stick figure item shop owner? Yeah. That's the cat. Nice! Because it, like, transforms. Oh, okay. Did you know that? That makes sense. I mean, I, like, never go in the item shop. Oh, okay. So this boss, his first stage is very easy. He shoots the thing, you punch the thing, you hit his head, but then he starts throwing shit at you, like saw blades, and... But, I mean, like most of the bosses in this game, it's it's rinse and repeat. Yeah, I really like how they, they're very good about their boss design. Like, it always starts off with, like, just simple, like, this is how you hurt it. But then they start throwing more shit at you. Right. Well, yeah. this boss, like, I, I don't know. I don't want to talk about later stages of the boss till I'm at it. But... Okay, I gotcha. Ah! But, yeah, so, like, it's, like, a totally different fight now, though. And I hate this part. Yeah. I, I remember this. I don't remember, like, what... Oh, you have to hit the, so the, the, the bird on the bird, yeah? You have to throw the egg on the bird. Okay. I, I bet that's, like, why they just had, like, the whole pinball level with, like, all the precision Probably, throwing. yeah. Because, like, that's part of the boss now. But, like, the birds, if, if the egg hatches and you don't kill the bird, it becomes explosive. Oh. And then it hurts you even if you try to kill it. And this bird is like really hideous, and it looks like its oh, head yeah. it looks like its head is like coming out of like a sack. Gross. You know, yeah. Don't you see it? Well, like, it's, the... isn't it? It's the bird on top that's like. Oh no, the bird on top is like a fake whatever. No, no, no. Look at like the 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 whole big bird. It looks like the right. white part of its body is like a sack, and its head's just like popping. Yeah. Is like, that, is like that... here you. Well, I thought that that was kind of like a fake bird, but now I realize that the one on top the is one the on fake top bird. is fake. It looks like a weather vane or something. Yeah. Uh oh. See, it explodes yes. and hurts you if you're too like that. But then you've only got like one more thing. Right? right, and then when you're trying to get the eggs, though, it's like really difficult. Oh my uh, god! Shit. See, I Preston. I hate this part of the fight. You have to get it. Hang on, because then it starts throwing so many, but then you can't kill them. Because they're all explodey, and oh, I'm yeah, gonna die. Oh, you die. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, ah. Uh. Ooh, that was close. Ah! Damn it. Because, and you can't, like, oh, my God. Okay, well, all right, we're back. All right, cool. Uh, hey, Preston. What? <laughs> Maybe try flying over the cuckoo's nest. Well, I knew one who flew over the cuckoo's nest. Yeah. And uh, that didn't go too yeah, well for yeah. him. Well, do you remember <laughs> his name and the actor that portrayed him? Uh, I know that it was Jack Nicholson who played him. I don't remember the character's name. All right. It's been a while since I've seen it. It's been a while. Shut up, yeah. All right. I actually I was my, about to tell you to stop, but I really like that song. Okay, so. My my job is just just make random references to things and hope that people understand. What that's well, that's a great song. That's so. like that's my only basis for comedy in this let's play. Apparently. Oh, yes. Ooh. Okay. Shit. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you got this. Yeah. Right. 
Sorry, I got quiet there. I had to focus. Yes, yeah, <laughs> right. Okay. It's a lot cool. of focusing, but I got and the. We got they all look the chests. Like earrings. Oh yeah. Are they are they earrings? I, I guess. And then the three treasure chests. So we're good. All right. And looks good. All righty. Well, you know, Preston, I think it's that time. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah, it's that it time. almost took, it only took us like. Four fucking tries to finish that passage. Yeah, all I right. didn't screw any of that up. Yeah, it at was all. actually really perfect. It was probably the best all thing I'll ever do in yeah, my life. Okay. I, sh okay. I should just drop out of college and become a professional Wario Land Four, 4 player. Just yeah, yeah, just Wario Land Four. Just this game. All right, we'll see you next okay. time. <laughs>